Hey folks, welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse, and today we are looking at Summer Camp. This is a game from, praise be, Phil Walker Harding. And this just came out just recently, picked up at a Target, picked it up at Target, uh, only for like 18 bucks on sale. Uh, it was a pretty easy one for me to decide to get. I really like Phil Walker Harding games. If you've seen any of our top tens recently, you probably know that. One thing, though, which I'm sure is all about Target. They do this a lot. They put stickers on here. Look at this. So I don't have to peel off the plastic while I tell you about Twitch.tv slash Heartboard Games where we play games like this live. Instead, I got to peel the stickers. Ugh, stickers. Can anybody think of a good reason to have stickers on your game? I can't. What is the positive part? The, um, we also picked up on sale Hues and Cues, which you saw there on the table. And we also picked up Villainous Marvel. I've never played any of the Villainous, so I'm looking forward to playing that. However, that also had these stickers. And, get this, it was already opened. Like, all the stickers were busted, and they had put just clear tape around the whole back of the thing. I ordered it, so I wasn't able to dispute it or pick up a different one off the shelf. I did the order and pick up. That's on me? No, is it? No, probably not. I mean, I could just rip this thing and be done with it just for the unboxing. I just wanted to be I wanted to be thorough with it. Okay, we are open for business. I just haven't gotten the sticker off the top yet. It's coming. Oh, by the way, these are live. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that yet, but these are 100% live. You get to see exactly what you're going to go through if you pick up this game. So, summer camp. Find your cabin assignment. Ring out your swimsuit and relive the days of canoeing. Friendship bracelets and s'mores. That's right. We got games, adventure, and water sports. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Two to four players, 30 to 45 minutes to play. Buffalo games and puzzles, which I'm not familiar with. Ooh, that's a nice production. I mean... There's nothing here. It's just the logo. I feel like you could have done something more. Uh, something related to the game or something. Maybe how to pack it back up. Uh, actually, it looks like it won't be much of an issue there. So summer camp. Uh, it's about 14 pages, 15 including back. Here's what's inside. All of the things inside. Got some path boards, the lake board, uh, seven activity packs, which include different merit badges and activity cards, etc. Welcome campers! Return to the cabins by the lake, etc., etc., etc. You will compete for merit badges in various camp activities, adventures, arts, and crafts, cooking, friendship, games, outdoors, or water sports. Choose what three camp activities you want to play in each game. The combination of camp activities will change what actions are available to the players and how your whole camp experience will feel. Sounds like this game has lots of replayability. Summer Camp is a deck building game, which means that each player has their own deck of cards to play with. As the game progresses, you will add new cards to your deck to make it even stronger. Each turn, you will play five cards from your deck to perform actions or buy new cards. When you have played through your whole deck, shuffle, through all your shuffle all your cards together, including the new cards you bought, and keep playing. Adding newly bought cards to your deck allows you to gain new and more powerful abilities as the game goes on. So a lot of you are gamers. You know how deck building works. So there's a setup. Example of a two-player game right there. I'm sure this is all available online. Oh, here we go. Buffalogames.com slash summer dash camp. That's where there's a video for how to play. You get a very close look at it. 
activity card reference. I love deck builders, so this is right up my alley. We have a starting camper. We have snack bar. Everything came pre-packed. And we have the mini people. There's a snack bar. Using cues, you can wait your turn. There's our meeples, our little hikers. There's three of each color, it seems. Let's pull out. I am not going to look at these, though. I'll tell you what. I'll leave these as a secret. I'll open up one of them just to give us an idea. But this, well, we'll be here all night. We're going to open games. All these other ones, friendship, outdoor, water sports, etc. We're going to leave these for you to find out on your own. But we're going to look at the base pack and games. We always look under the box as well. So let's take a peek. This one, there's nothing under there. No need for you to lift it up on your copy. So here is the boards that you get in front of you. I'll play red. They all have that. Don't feed the bears. They all have the same. That would have been a neat little thing. To, I mean, they're going to print it four times like. Print something different that's kind of fun instead of all the same thing. But yeah, like helpful things too, like put out your campfires and stuff like that. All right, base pack, we got this. Oop. Come on, summer camp. There it goes. Okay, so we have the merit badges already in there. Camp All-Star with different points on it. These are actually really nice. Really nice. Um, they almost have a U, the UV. You can see the UV. Let me shine it right. Actually, that looks like the whole thing shining. It is. But I yeah, you can see right there the hands sh are a bit shinier than the rest of it. So a really shiny UV on the parts. We're almost to where you can feel it, which is pretty cool. Back and front, they're the same. So let's look at some cards. Lights out, no action. Okay, so that seems like our uh, curse cards or dead cards that kind of just fill up our decks. We have s'mores for two energy. We have a scavenger hunt. We have free time. And the backs all look like that. My color's a little off on my close-up cam. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can uh, fix that really quick. That's much better. That's what they look like. Lights out, s'mores, etc. Yeah, a little off on that. Let's open this one. There's no easy way to open this one. <laughs> Just uh, even with the scissors here, it's a bit tight for that. So these are the tiles that make up the board. So really, I guess we're looking at the board right now. I'm going to put these aside, and the last thing we'll look at are the games. Okay, so this opens up like this. It's all connected. Let's take a look at that close up. So different start positions. Merit badge setup. The back just says lake board. And we have all these different um, path boards. Not sure how they work yet, but we'll figure it out. This is one I'm anxious to play. And finally, we're going to take a peek at the games. 28 cards, four merit badges. Here's the merit badges. You can see the shine I'm kind of talking about there. There's two more. 
for 8 and 12. Summer camp. All the backs are the same. I gotta be at the deck builder. We have tetherball, parachute games, color war, dodgeball. Only two dodgeballs, three tug of wars, capture the flag, tag. And that's that. So each one is going to change the game a little bit to some degree. Um, I'm not really sure how much, but lots of card packs to look at. Lots of activities here for us to do at summer camp. If this is your first time here, or maybe it's your fifth time here, hit that subscribe button. It will help us out. Help me get more content to you. And if you're over on Twitch, check us out at twitch.tv slash Heartboard Games. We're there live four times a week, 7 p.m. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 7 p.m. Central. Come play games with us every uh, Sunday and Wednesday. We're playing games with the folks in the chat. Hope you're one of them. And until next time, the box is closed.